I heard that you actually approached the producers to, to get this role. What, what was it that kind of made you want to like, like kind of chase after this? After I did Sweet Home Alabama, um, I got a couple different romantic comedies sent to me and I just thought they were awful. And I'd always liked them though. I always felt like they're a genre that people just particularly men dismiss, but it's really difficult to do and it's really difficult to do well. And that the good ones are quite honest and they always are tinged in some, not tragedy per se, but they're always tinged in something very honest and real. And I think life, you know, life as we know or I know it, has moments of boredom and tragedy and sadness and a lot of humor and it's just this kind of waves, right? And so when I read this script, first of all, the title, you know, being what it was, but then I'm a huge fan of Catherine. And when I read it, I thought, knowing her and knowing what she's doing as an actress right now, that she's playing comedically as strong as she is, but that she's playing as honest as she is, too. I was like, this could be a really cool movie. And it could be a movie that I think, because it comes out of a pretty serious tragedy, the story, um, and then the relationship between her and Messer and then me and her being not... I'm not a bad guy, and Messer's not a bad guy. Like, there's, everyone's just trying to deal with the situation. I felt like that's what I see in life. I don't see a lot of bad people. I see a lot of people who are confused and going through difficult times, but um, I just loved the story being so honest, and I felt like when I spoke to Greg Berlanti about it, that he said, I want to make an honest movie. I don't want to make a silly movie. Um, and... I was like, oh man, I'd love to be a part of it, you know, and I don't care really if it, uh, what, I mean, I knew if Sam was the character I wanted to play, but, um, you know, luckily enough, they, they agreed. <laughs> but Sam is actually one of the tougher roles to play because it, it could so almost true. be like a, a thankless, you know, it's yeah. like, hi, come in, you know, and, exactly. and you kind of know what his fate is, you know, That's and right. so, so how did you like make sure that it wasn't this person that I was just talking about and actually was a three-dimensional character that kind of had more to him? Well, because I believe that people like Sam exist. The problem is when you play them on camera, it can be quite um, cookie cutter or they can be quite bland. But I do know people in my life who particularly Southern, a certain kind of Southern man, my parents are doctors. There's a certain kind of a pediatrician who oftentimes are quite childlike and they're very, very sweet because they relate to the, the babies and the children in a way more so than they do adults. And I felt like this guy had that element going on, um, but also he had this sense of just incredible integrity. That he was a man who was always going to do the right thing. That he's a man who, you know, he sleeps really well and he eats really well and he exercises every day and he doesn't have demons. And partly that's why he's a very good pediatrician. And so I was trying to figure out those things that made him real as opposed to those things that made him um, uh, surface false. And I felt like there was, you don't, some people don't have cauldrons of intensity going on underneath them. <laughs> and I think he's one of those guys who just doesn't. And so maybe that's why he doesn't get the girl in the end. <laughs> um, have, having parents who are both doctors then, was that almost a cheat sheet in the sense that you can kind of like see how they are with kids and or, or with, with patients and, and, and kind of? A little bit. I mean, my dad is a very... Um, he would be called a humanitarian doctor in the sense that there's technical doctors. My dad actually would say that he's not the greatest doctor in the world because he's too emotional. He cares too much. Um, and great doctors have no emotion. I don't agree with him. Um, and I feel like Sam is one of those doctors who really cares about his patients and his, the kids and he's genuinely like... So And I saw, I saw my dad, I mean even like... I tried to borrow my dad's stethoscope and I tried to borrow um, a couple of the equipment that he had when I was growing up when I would go watch my dad work just out of being connected. Um, and I, 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 I think that it was easier to play him, to play Sam because of having gone to work with my dad when I was a kid, definitely. Working with Catherine, um, mm -hmm. she <clears throat> has such a pedigree with the television show that she was involved with and also the movies that she does. Um, what is her kind of sense of a rhythm of a scene and how she kind of like plays it and then how do you kind of like work your way in and make sure that you know everything kind of, or is it Greg's doing that kind of? I always, always equate acting to playing tennis. Um, and the reason why is because when you see a tennis player hit the ball awkwardly, the other tennis player ends up looking awkward right back. Catherine 
I was genuinely blown away by her. First of all, I'm a fan, and so I went into it with that, but I also went into it having a crush on her and like having a lot of different things about her that I really liked from afar. 